Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and have I got a video for you today. Ha ha ha. So, the plan is feeding all the animals massive pieces of fish. So, because most of the, our big lizards are omnivores, so they will eat anything. So, I've got loads of fish, we can feed some of the fishes this as well. So we won't be feeding all of it, but we're going to give some big, big slices and chunks to some of our animals. And we can see what the piranhas will do to it as well. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me, and we'll crack on and feed some animals some crazy food. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring that bell for me, and we'll crack on with the day. Another jobbo we've got today. So we, we obviously need, we need a couple of jobbos. We can't just have one. We need, we need multiple jobbos. So Morgan needs a little work area. So, because she's got to go around and do jobs at multiple places, she ends up having to walk back and forth up the shop all the time because we use the till area as like a workbench and the till area, and she's going back and forth. So I'm thinking that's not good enough. So we need to sort something out for Morgan so she can be in different. She could be in here, have a work area in here, close it up, move it, have a work area out there, and put it wherever she wants. So I've got an old workbench. It's broken. My old man broke it, he's too heavy handed he is. So, I'm thinking, if we take these old panels off, put a nice plank of wood on there, it should fold out and have a nice table for Morgan. So that is another plan we're going to do today. Once we've, I'm not sure which we're gonna do first, building or feeding, probably the building, because that's got a defrost. So yes, we'll do that. Building first, then we feed that once the fish is a defrost. Waha. I'm also looking for more candidates for the next Alex Reviews video. So I've put a couple of links out on the YouTube and the Facebook asking for people to send me photos. So uh, if you want to send me some photos on the Facebook and on the Instagram, whichever works easier for you. I think the Facebook is the easier one to do it on. But whichever works, um, just message me first so I can let you know if I've received a photo or not because sometimes it's playing up a little bit. But if you want to see your your tank on the next Alex Reviews video, let me know and send me the photo and I will pick out of the ones I've received and do another video. So, uh, fingers crossed, we'll get some nice photos and stuff. I know I've had two people send me three or four tanks, so we're doing well at the start already. So, uh, we'll crack on and we'll have a good day. For our first job then, we need some wood. Very important, we get a nice piece of wood for Morgan. So, how big is that? Ah, it's got a ruler on it. That helps, doesn't it? So, that's 54 centimeters. So for farming tank measure, we need to find a piece of wood 54 centimeters long ago. The width doesn't matter because uh, it moves. So uh, we can change the width if you want. So we'll have a look in the old shed, see what Alex can find, and we'll be back in a sec. <laughs> My rummage was a renowning success. We've got a lovely plank of wood, and I've got some carpet to line it with. <laughs> perfect, perfect Amundo for Morgan. Oh, she's going to be so happy. So happy. Brownie points are going to be officially earned with this. So uh, I'll close the shed up, we'll get this built, and cut, and we'll see how we get on. I just thought it'd probably help if we actually started defrosting the fish. Completely forgot about it. So... And then I thought, how are we going to defrost a fish that big? I don't know what we could physically do. I mean, we could plonk it in there, but I don't really want it getting wet. I want it to keep it dry. I want to keep some structural integrity to it, really. So I want to try and cut it up into strips to feed the animals and not just big strips of fish in the oil, because that's the plan anyway. Um, suppose we could put it in, a, we could put it in there. Put it in a fanarium. Whoa, you need to knock the dripper off the blooming chameleons. That would have been a rock mess. So we can put it in here, we can always clean these down because they're plastic. So if we put the fish in here, and we just let it defrost naturally. Come on in fishy, big fishy. Come on skizzers, do your jobbo. Come on, you've got one job, cut it. How can you be so rubbish at your job? Oh, okay, that means we can get the fish out. So the fish 
is a panga fillet. I think that's how you say it. Panga. Panga fillet. It is from, I think they said Vietnam. Yes. Product of Vietnam, farm raised. So they must have big ponds with these in. Okay, look at that. That's a nice big chunk of fishy. So it's deboned as well and de-skinned. So I think that's quite a bit of liquid on there. I think it's going to be quite a bit smaller once it's defrosted. Uh, it might be worth putting a bit of water to help it defrost, I think. I didn't realise it was... There's a good couple of mil of water in there before you hit fish. Mmm, it's proper in an ice block. Okay, we'll see what happens. We'll just do the one, because we can always add more. So, I'll leave that there. I'll put it in a nice warm spot in the shop. Help it to frost reasonably quick. Okay, so I've gone and got myself a screwdriver. Got myself a screwdriver. So we can start taking this bad boy apart. But we need to take the wood off. You can see the wood's broke in multiple places. It's broke there. It's broke there. So it's no good. It got damp at one point, and then once my dad put his strength on it, it just went no. So <clears throat> we're going to unscrew it, which is literally just going to undo these screws. Take this off, and then. We're going to open it up as wide as it'll go because you've got a little handle there which widens it and then um, we can screw it all together and then I might take the handles off so we don't have to mess with it anymore. Um, and then it can all just be set to one level and we can see if it works. So I'll take it all apart and crack on. Come on, screw. It's hard because I can't, I can't push on anything. I don't want to push on the glass. I have to put it in a different spot to do the rest of the screws. Well, that's what i got to do on each screw. Just undo it. Like so. So, that was quite easy. Took all the wood off. It's a bit loosey-goosey, this one is, but that's no hassle. Um, so, what I'm going to do, we're going to open this all the way down to here. So, we've got the biggest piece of wood we can fit on there. And then... We've got to place our wood on, screw it in, cut it to size, and all that jazz. I'm going to have to get new screws though. A bit annoying. I might be able to use some, but a lot of them are all washed out and been over screwed. So it's a big problem being over screwed, it is. So uh, I'll get this wood cut, and then uh, we can start building. Okay, so we've got the wood laid down. So we've got to do, we've got to lay this on top, then we can work out where we're going to be sitting, how much overhang we're going to have over the one piece of wood. We don't want it too big, but we don't want it too small either. So we've got to work out where it's going to go, um, then we'll be all right. I don't know who Rick is, but Rick was here. He's not anymore, but he was at some point. <laughs> so I'm going to work, I think that's probably just about right. So I'd match that size over there, up there, <laughs> cut it, and then that'd be a nice work area once we put the carpet on for it. Okay, so I've got a couple of screws holding it in place. I've marked where we've got to cut it. So what we're going to do now, take it out the back, get the big disc saw, I think it's what it's called, uh, circular saw, cut it, and then um, see if it's any good. Put the rest of the screws in it, then we're going to put a carpet liner on it, just so uh, it's nice and soft and it's not getting, so just to make it nice. Okay, okay then, so I've got it all set up, I've got my saw, I've got my stuff, so we're gonna do a little montage of, well, I'm really doing a montage just because it's gonna be really loud, basically. So I have got something to protect my old face, protect my old face so nobody moans at me. So, uh, but if it becomes a hazard, I I'd rather lose, I'd rather get something in my eye than lose a finger. So, do 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 do, I set everything up and away we go. thing was moving so I had to grab it before it, it went so uh, we tried we tried to protect our face but it didn't work we tried so that's cut and ready to go so we've got to clean it all off 
uh, bring it inside. I might sand a couple of the edges so it's nice, and then um, we'll put the carpet on. So okay, that's what we got so far. So I've done all the edges, sanded all the edges, all nice and smooth, so we don't get any splinters because that's the last thing we want. So now we just got to put a layer of carpet over the top, and we're done. And then we can start chopping up the fish and feeding all the animals. Well, I was just doing a little test to see if what I was planning on attaching the uh, carpet to the wood would work. And doing the test, it worked perfectly. So I just, I just did it. Um, so it's all set up, ready to go. And I put some stuff on it, so it looks like it's being used, so you can get an idea of what it's going to be. So look at that. So you've got. The non-carpeted end is for like putting the water, chopping up the, the veg and stuff like that, so that area can be cleaned a bit easier. Um, this bit would be for like dusting the bugs, sorting all stuff out. We've got all the essential, we've got bugs, we've got water, we've got calcium, we've got the essential barbecue sauce. We always need the barbecue sauce. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think that's going to work a treat. And then when we finish with it, it just folds away and gets put away in, the, in an easy located spot. Which is really good. I mean, because it's so small, I mean, it could fit down the side of some of the uh, the shelving and stuff like that. And it can be tucked away really easy. So uh, I think that's perfect. So now it's what we've all been waiting for: big fish feeding time. So to figure out the way to defrost it, put it in there, and then I just let it float around in there. And the warm water in the pond has uh, defrosted it quite well. So we should be able to chop it up now and be away we go. But I've got to answer the phone. I'm back, I'm back. So, we get to test out the new workbench. So, I do think I'm gonna have to do something better than them little pins, because uh, they've pushed, they're pushing out slowly. So, uh, we might have to put some screws in it. <laughs> but I put a plane of glass on the top, just to keep it clean. Um, and I have my fish. We have the big fish that we're gonna chop up and feed to everybody. Look at that. We've got a big piece of panga, big piece of panga big piece of panga so still a little bit frozen so we do have to do a little bit more defrosting but that might be good for cutting it up still a little bit frozen so we can get some nice strips out of it so uh, well, uh -huh, there we go we'll put that on there and we cut that up into nice strips for all our animals to have a mud chop so today on cooking with Alex we're making fish fingers so we're going to be cutting into little finger bits and making fish fingers. <laughs> so literally, we're just going to be doing probably finger whiff strips to be fair. It said it had no bones in, but I'll believe that when I see it. Because I seem to be cutting through something like a bone. I don't know, are they bones? I don't know. Might just be. I don't know. I ain't a fishmonger. I don't know. But I'm definitely cutting through something a bit different to what I cut through if I'm cutting a fish finger. Oop, see how we get on. See if the animals like it. See if the fishes like it. Oh, it might be easier to use a pair of scissors. I think. So get the scissors. Do you reckon? Because this is rubbish. This knife. Let's get a pair of scissors. See if that works. Put that there. Scissors! 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 Okay. Wow! That's the badger. That is the badger. Oh yes. So we're doing nice finger whiff. Fish fingers. Lovely job. Fishy fingers. It's what we like. So we're going to be... Oh! We're getting them all chopped up, ready to go. And we're going to be feeding a couple of the monitor. We're going to be feeding sailfin, uh, iguana, uh, piranhas, uh, puffers, anything that's going to be willing to eat it, we're going to try them on it. So, probably going to have quite a bit left over. So, uh, we might have to put it back in the freezer and freeze it back up. There we go, all chopped up. Wah, wah, wah. You actually see, it's a bit washed out. There we go, look, you can see it's all fishes, all fishes, all nice little strips of fish ready 
for feeding all our animals. Wah -bah -bah. I've got to clean my hands now. Okay, quick, we got a problem. Quick, 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 quick. Before they smash each other to bits, one of the fighters has jumped into the other fighter tank. Come on, lads, no, no. Okay, stop it, he's jumped into that one now. Oh my God, stop it. Stay in the tank. Okay, he's jumped three tanks. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, that's it. Oh, you naughty fish. Oh, come on, out, out the net, come on. Out the net. There we go. I think they're just filled up a little bit too much. They can jump over. Oh, last thing we want is them fighting because they'll just smash each other to bits. They, they do a death spiral. So they grab each other's mouths and they spin around and fight. Oh, that was quick. Okay, back to what we was doing. Panic averted. No fishy fighting. Don't want no fishy fights. So I've got my little bucket, got my tweezers. So we're gonna put all the fish into here, clear our station away, and then start feeding everybody. Lots of lovely fishes. I think this could be really good. Really good. Mixing up the diets, you see. This is gonna be boring, eating the same rubbish all the time. Well, not rubbish, but eating the same stuff over and over again, day after day after day. So I'm gonna be keeping it a little bit longer because it needs to defrost just a tiny bit more but uh, come on fishes but we should do really well having everybody eat it so give me another five minutes when it be seconds for you I'll clean all this away and this will be defrosted and we can start feeding Whoa -ha -ha. so our first candidate for feeding is going to be Savannah Monitor only thing is I don't want her rubbing it in the sand and picking up loads and loads of sand. So, we might have to clear away her slate area. So, she's got a nice area to eat it. So I think that's what we might have to do. Um, or we give her small enough pieces that she can just chuck it back. So we'll uh, get set up and then uh, we can come and feed. I've had an idea. We've made her an outside feeding platform. Well, so we can try her on that today. Uh, see if we can lure her out onto there, see if she can give us a feed. Um, just see how we get on. So you can see we've got a nice little platform for her to come out on now. So, I don't know how it's going to work. I'm going to set you up over here. And we'll try to feed her around in the middle-ish area, so I don't want us too close to the edges. Um, see how we get on. Okay, so we're going to give it a go. We're going to want the grabber. Not the grabber, the, the target. We need the target. Okay. Now I'm going to move the fish out of the way and put it on the ladder down here. Um, let's get let's get a small piece to start us off. Okay, that's a reasonably small piece. Okay, darling. Okay, you got it, you got it, you got it, let go. Yeah, no. Think of that. That's nice. What do you think? Nice bit of fish. Is it a bit awkward for you? Want a hand? Want a hand? If I grab this bit and twist it, come on, oh nearly, you're just ramming it all in your mouth are you, ramming as much as we can in, we're going to ram it in, is that what we're going to do, chuck it back, chuck it back, whoa, whoa, go on, that's it, She's doing it. She's doing it. How nice no, was that? Big piece of fishy. Oh, yes. Look at the smile on your face. See if we can get another smaller piece. Come on then. 
Come get your target. Get it in. Wow. How's that, darling? Nice. You can't bite me. You got food in your mouth. You got it? No, not me. No. There you go. Eat that. What are you spinning out for? Don't you want it? You had enough? She doesn't want that. She's spitting it out now. No. Come on. In you go. Come on. All the way. Come on. Mm, she had one big piece, but she kept spitting this piece back out. Still hungry, but just didn't want this piece. And all my other pieces are reasonably large. And I think they'd be a little bit too much for her. Go and get another little piece. Okay, we'll try this piece. See if it's a bit different. Come on, Anne. What's this? Yeah, blue. Got it? You can get it then. Oh, you chipped it all in the sand. That's what I didn't want. No. No, you can't have that piece. Hey, come out here. Come on, all the way. That's it, eat that. I'm just spitting it out. No, no more fish. No, no more fish. She's ignoring it. Back in then. Come on, back in. Wow, we did a somersault back in. Okay, <laughs> let it go with it. Let go of it. So yeah, she had one big piece. She's interested in it. Well, she just wants food. So uh, any bit of food, she's just trying to eat it, but she's really, she doesn't think she really likes this very much. So uh, that'll be it for her for that. Uh, let's try somebody else. So we'll try some of the fish first, and we we'll jump back on the bigger lizard. Hello, little Oscars. Would you like some fishy? Want to try some? Oh yes. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, big chunkos. We love to drop it down. Look at that. Running off of it. you got to give some to your mate. He ain't noticed it yet. He's looking for locusts. That's what he's looking for. She see? Oh, he's got it. They're fighting over it. It's my fish. So give him a tiny bit as well. Uh, it's a bit big. It's a bit big. That'll do. Run well, your little dude, here I am. There you go, you've got your own little piece, look. There you go. What did you leave it for? No, he's too much of a wimpy pants. Come on, have a bit. Okay, that'll be enough for them then. We've got the snake head. I've just dropped it in. He's thinking about it. Oh, that was impressive. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go on somebody else. I bet once the scent goes around, he'll eat it. Let's try the wolf fish. I bet he loves it. Wolfie. Oh. They doing Wolfie? Oh, he's up. He's ready. He's up and he's ready to go. Let's get him a bit of a fish. Whoa! He took the old lot! 
That's a bit much, that is, mate, I reckon. Bit much. I wanted you to rip it in half. Let me cut it in half for you. There we go. Come on, Wolfie! Wolfie, oh! Oh, he's a bit of scaredy pants now. I'll leave it in there for him. If you don't eat it, I can always take it out. Well, let's move on to the next animal. So we're gonna do the puffers next. We know the puffers, pu pu puffers? Puffers love a bit of fish. Come on. Okay, let's see if we've got some hungry boys. Not the tongs, the fish. Look. There you go, mate. Wow, oh, lovely. Oh, here comes this little dude. They're all like, ah, oh, fishy. I oh, don't mind if I do have a fishy. Oh, big chunkies, big chunkies. You can have it, I'll let go if you want it. Oh, there they are, go. Should we do the piranhas next? Let's do the piranhas. So I put it in there for them. They're a bit scared at the moment. But hopefully they should come down and smash. I was did dangling in there for a bit, but they're too scared. Too scared. So we sit and wait and see if they eat their... So I've set the camera up to record while the um, piranhas start feeding. So what they're going to do, one of them is going to be a little bit braver than the rest. He's going to come out like he is now coming out and having a little look he's going to come out again he's going to get really really close and then the third time he's going to come out have a test bite and then that's when everybody will run back then after having a test bite tell all his mates everything's okay and then they'll all come out over one by one and then they'll all have a big group and they'll start feeding in one big go So we do the last of the fishes, which is the Oscar. So we've got a nice little chunk for him. Come on. Okay, little buddy. Okay, dude, you ready? Oh, yes. It didn't last long, did it, mate? Next, we've got black spotted tail iguana. Whoa, ha, ha. So. I believe he's having a siesta. Yes, he is. So uh, we'll have to wake him up and give him some food. Are you awake or are you asleep? Oh, his little eyes open. His little eyes open. Let's give him some food. Okay, then, old buddy, old pal. We'll give him a little piece to start him off. Come on, buddy. You're nice. You spat it out. Not a good sign. He's licking it. He's decided he wants it. He doesn't get fish very often. He's only had fish once before. Is, is he changing his mind or what's he doing? Getting a good taste of it. He's gone into the dark. He's gone into the dark. We're offering him another one. I think he's at it.
Buddy, you there? Woohoo! Where'd he go? Where's he gone? Mr. Lizard! Where have you gone, buddy? There he is! You got some leafy stuff in your mouth. Spit it out then. Yeah, I'm not. No, you're not having that. Doesn't want any help. Doesn't want any help. So he's out and about now. We're still going to offer him some food. Got some more. You want me fishy? So he's off. He's off. So that was enough for him. At least he's had some. Maybe the next couple of times he might eat some more. Let's see what the sow fin's going to do. So they're eating it, but they're not smashing it. So I don't know if panga's not the best tasting. No, I've never tasted panga. But, uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll move on to the sail fin. See if he likes a bit of panga. Okay, so we haven't even got any food out and he's holding it there. So, hello mate, wait, wait. Starting off with a smaller piece. You're gonna flick it everywhere. I got you, I got you. That nice. Well, that didn't last long. Let me readjust. Whoa, what is that? Whoa. And we nearly lost you, we nearly lost you, and there's a fish tank below you. Okay, we've got another piece. Oh, he loves it. That no, it's a bit of panga. Oh, yummy, yummy, fishy, fishes. No messing about with him, he loves his food. Is it dangling? Oh, dip, 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 it's going. It's still dangling out your mouth. Whoop. Now, I'm going to finish it in here, Alex. That's what I've decided. That little bit's for the road. It's got a bit of fish for the road, that's what it is. So you're going to do your veg bowl, and I'm going to do his water bowl today as well. So they're probably not going to have pinkies tomorrow because they're having fish today. Nearly yeah, got it all in. Get that last bit. Okay, we lost it, even though we tried to get it. Uh, let's give him another piece. Still hungry? Come on. What about a smaller piece? Yeah, smaller piece. Smaller piece. That's three pieces. Let's see if we can have any more. Another one? You do look very regal, sir. Look at that belly on him. A piece of fish? No? Okay. He's happy like that. So I think we've done really well. Really well, haven't we, mate? Yeah, we've done really well. You got a full belly? Look at that belly. Look at that belly. I know, you got a big belly. I know, it's okay. We likes big bellies. Yes, we do. Because that means we've got a healthy lizard. I reckon we've used about half. We've got a tiny bit left. Well, I'll say reasonable amount left. Um, for the first go at trying them all on it, I think that went really well. Next time, they'll probably eat a bit more and stuff like that. Um... Yeah, I might offer a couple more to some of them after in a couple of minutes, but uh, I don't really want to waste too much. Um, so I try and feed the rest off, and then um, the cats in the street might want the rest. I'm only joking, we'll throw the rest away. 
Okay, then everybody, I've completely ran over way too much today. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. If you want to help support me, the YouTube, and uh, all the rescues and stuff like that, there's a link in the description below, or just click join. And uh, if you want to see where I get my animals from, there's a link in the description below. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.